Hi guys, welcome back to another shop with me. Today we are heading into Michael's. So as I walked up, I saw these really cute little Halloween mats and I like this one. It was like shaped as a bat, even underneath. And then welcome scaredy cats. I love that one. And then turn back now. This one's super nice. And then happy Halloween. And then also as I walked in, I saw that they had these little party balloon garlands and just party items. All of these items here are pastel colors. They're so pretty. I've been seeing all over Instagram a lot of people decorating for Halloween with pastel colors or just throwing a party. They had those cute cupcake little kits there. These witch little feet planters and the pastel colors. It all matches so perfectly. And then these eek and trick or treat signs are so beautiful. I think these would look adorable in a girl's room, like a little girl's room for Halloween. They had all the matching little lanterns here as well for I think it said $10. And then I believe all of this is 40% off right now, but don't quote me on that. And then also over here, they had this cute LED ghost light. They had a bunch of these little witch hats and potion bottles, all with the same coloring. Let me know what you guys think. Would you decorate with all that pastel colored decor? I think it's so pretty. And then they had some outdoor decor here and these stakes. Over here is a bunch of tinsel Halloween decor. So they have the witch hats, the little witch boots, a bunch of nice wreaths that you can put on your front door, hocus pocus, a bat one, a big spider one. And then they also have these huge tinsel cats. I actually have one of these, but it's small, but they had the purple, black, and orange, and they're huge. Here is a bunch of little Halloween decor items, but I did love this candy corn wreath. I thought that was so cute. I would totally pick that up. Also that trick or treat crossing sign was so adorable, as well as this trick or treat rules. These signs are so unique and so cute. There were just a bunch of them, so I went through and showed you as much as I could. They had these nice little tea light candles and they also had the tapered candles, which were really nice in the Halloween colors. Also, this little candelabra is so pretty. I wanted to pick one up. I'll show you one here in a little bit that I really liked a little bit more than that. And then they had the candy corn trees, some more signs here. These would be cute to set outside on a front porch. Also, this little haunted mansion is so detailed. I think these little signs would be cute just sitting right next to it on a little entryway table or something like that. They had these little witch brooms. And then over here, they had a couple of countdown to Halloween. I actually have one from Walmart that I got a couple years back. I did notice that they had a bunch of cat items in this little cat camper. So if you like cats and you have a camper, that's perfect for you. And then this happy Halloween with the witch clothes on the clothing line. I thought that was really funny and unique. They did have a bunch of different potion bottles throughout the whole store you're gonna see. And then I also have a bunch of fall items I'm gonna be showing you, but I just came to all these Halloween items first. I really like this really nice ceramic dish here, this huge jack-o'-lantern. That was really nice.
they had a bunch of brooms here. They had the longer ones and then they had a bunch of these smaller ones. So if you need some witch brooms, definitely check out Michael's. They had a bunch. And then over here they have more garlands if you're going to have a Halloween party. They had so many different designs and all of that. And then over here they also had a bunch of Halloween pillows. Some of these were super, super cute, like that ghost holding the candy corn garland. And then over here, they had a bunch of garlands. They had all different kinds. They had these ones that were out of ornaments and eyeballs, just plain black ones, the spidery branch tree one. And then they also had a bunch of different felt ones. So yeah, if you're in the market for garlands, definitely check out Michael's. They have a bunch of cute fall ones too. I'm going to be showing you in a little bit. My favorite was probably this candy corn one. I would love to get that for my son's room. And then over here, this is like a DIY little crafting section. They had these bright colored pumpkins and then they also had the little kits that you could decorate with for them. And then they had little gift treat bag items right here that you could pick up. But yeah, the, here is just showing you some fun faces you can decorate those pumpkins with with your kids. I thought that was fun. They had a bunch of ribbon and then here's some more party items. I really wish I would have got a couple of these. They're really good price. Well, these ones down here were more expensive, but up here, I really like that ghost one for $4. How cute. And they had a jack-o'-lantern. I totally should have got those and sat those out for the kids when I gave them their boo baskets. I know it's a little extra, but now I'm like, man, I should have got those. And then over here they had cool things to put over your lights some table runners and then these dishes are so cute I've seen them on Instagram but they have this little ghost dish here and then they have matching items down here so they have a matching bowl and then inside it says boo to you these are just super nice they have the matching mugs and then they have this little cookie canister right next to it and then they have that same dish but smaller and then some jack-o'-lantern mugs this section was so cute. And then over here, they have these detailed little mansion houses, a little town. So if you like to set up a little Halloween scene, these are so nice, so intricate, and so detailed. Also, if you like to decorate a little girl's dollhouse, I know I watch a lot of girls on Instagram that decorate their kids' dollhouses for all the holidays. I'm not there yet, but I think that would be fun. But yeah, you could use some of those items for that. Over here is a bunch of DIY signs that are just plain that you can paint yourself that I really liked. And then over here we're moving into some fall things. So they had a bunch of different fall pillows, the morning pumpkin, I like that get cozy with the stripes. And they also had some football pillows there. Dress blessed and pumpkins by obsessed, that's cute. Some of these would be really cute by a coffee station area. And then they also always come out with these initial pumpkins every year. They have the little footballs and the pumpkins. So yeah, if you love football, they have a bunch of those cute signs here. They also had some nice soft throw blankets. And then these huge initial pumpkin signs would be really pretty to put onto a fall wreath on your front door. Over here, this actually looks like a grocery store to me, the way they have it set up, it's so cute. Some of these pumpkins look so extremely realistic. Um, they have all those little buckets that you can get to put the pumpkins inside. Now I am going to say these pumpkins are kind of expensive, but they are an investment. So if you start a little bit at a time and gather a bunch of real looking pumpkins, you can use them every year. Also they had these nice dried florals, I really liked those. Here are some more of those realistic pumpkins. Also, they have this little baking area and they had so many little molds to choose from, from Halloween to fall. They had those cute ghosts, skeleton heads, mummy heads. They had this little web cake mold, a little coffin one, and then they had this brain one. Look how cool. It's really gross. And then a cauldron, a bunch of cookie cutters. They had so many to choose from. 
Also, I spotted these tin little buckets and I loved the copper color. Those were so pretty. And then looky, I found the Pottery Barn little jack-o'-lanterns. They were about the same price though if you were to get them off Pottery Barn. Those are my absolute favorite jack-o'-lanterns. I love the faces of them. Okay, so over here I'm gonna show you some more Halloween items. Now these would be perfect to put in a master bedroom. If you like to go all out and you and your husband both love Halloween, then all of this stuff will definitely be for you. They have some crazy stuff over here. I really like these pillows with that hint of pink behind it. And yeah, a lot of these items here are very feminine. So if your husband doesn't care about that and you can decorate, then go for it. This stuff is really fun, but it's just very, I don't know, gaudy, but cute too at the same time. I mean, I feel like Halloween decor is always gaudy. It's just part of it. But look at these pictures up here, like the skeleton. Oh my gosh, they think of everything. The bride and groom, so funny. And then they had these love potions. Yup, these items are definitely different, but if you're in the market for this kind of stuff, they have it here, so go check it out. This was the candelabra I really liked. They had the top wrapped off, but it's still really, really nice and well made, you can tell. Over here, they had more creepy things like potions, just very detailed items. This was a cool sign. And then look at this brain. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. That would be cool to put on a shelf. And some of these things were just really eerie. And then over here, they even had regular beakers, a ton of different beakers. And then here they have little items you can craft with, little bones, skull heads. These are perfect if you like do a lot of DIYs. And then here they have those little beads and sand pieces that you can put in these vials. They just had so many interesting things here. This little skeleton in the tub, this would be really fun for a bathroom, like a bathroom shelf if you like to go all out. Then they have these cloches. Um, these would be nice regardless if it was Halloween or not. So these were really nice. I like the gold bottom to those. And then they had this nice bat wreath hanger. Some more Halloween wreaths here. And then they had these witch hats. Those were all glittery and pretty. Also, if you like to do your own wreaths, they had a bunch of picks and items here that you can use for that. Like here is an empty web one that you can decorate and they had the items next to it that you could pick up. Okay, now we're moving back in to some fall items. I absolutely love this mauve looking garland. And then they have a matching wreath right here. I love those two together, so I'm kind of pointing at them. And then they have some of these, I think they're light up pumpkins. They had some little doormats here. I liked this Hello Fall with those leaves. I thought that was very beautiful. And then over here, they have these pumpkin stacks that would look really nice on each side of a door.
they have a bunch of really nice picks some of these are very comparable to like the Hobby Lobby ones like these woven ones I absolutely love those I love that orange color and then they have the cream and then I pick up another one here that I really liked so if you have any little bud vases these would be perfect and I just feel like they're really nice quality they also had just a bunch of gourds and pumpkins over here I really liked this wreath hanger the little white pumpkin on there and then they had these little garland bundles that would look really cute as mini wreaths over here is a bunch of fall garlands so they have a bunch of different options like they did for Halloween they have this felt give thanks a sunflower more felt balls I really like those for my kids rooms then they had the pumpkin ones and then they had these little acorns and then they had the more natural floral and the beads were probably my favorite I love natural bead garlands over here are some more wreaths and this one definitely got my attention I love that one these vases here were absolutely stunning I really really like those I almost want to go back and get those both of them the taller one and the the shorter one but those are just beautiful even by themselves without stems in them and then I was showing how this sign was really cute and it kind of reminded me of those little vases and then these match the wreath I showed you these little floral arrangements and I really like these little pre-made arrangements they're really pretty they have these little woodland ornaments here on the side that were cute and then I really like these houses I like the material they're out of so that beige would be really pretty for fall and then over here I saw they had a pheasant little decor piece that would be pretty for a centerpiece or just on a shelf also they have those super nice woven pumpkins that I love here I'm gonna be taking you around and showing you just some more fall signs that they had out they had it all down this aisle so I'm gonna let you take a look I really liked this. I'm always really attracted to white jars with florals, neutral florals, so those were really nice to me. And then over here they had more pillows, another home sign that would look really pretty with those bases I loved. And then down here I thought this little sign here, Hello Fall, was so cute with the wheat. And this says, Autumn Leaves Fall Breeze. I didn't pull it all the way out. This Hello Pumpkin sign was really nice. That would be pretty for a front door too. And then these woven pumpkins up here, I love that they were like candy corn colors. And this over here is the start of some apple decor. They had tons of apple items over here and I was like, whoa, I should have hit this place up before I did my apple decorate with me. They have so many cute signs over here I'm gonna show you. Also this little woven basket, so cute with the lid. But yeah, in here they have a bunch of apple items throughout here, so these would be really cute for kitchen areas. They had these adorable apple measuring bowls. I loved those. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like to shop at Michael's. I don't come here often. I know that the items always seem really pricey, but if you go whenever they have the 40% off, then it's very similar to Hobby Lobby, and they always have really unique items. So definitely don't sleep on Michael's. They have so many cute things, as you can tell from this video. Now I was coming over here, I was kind of getting into some of the summer collection that they had and all the sunflower stuff. They already had it this summer, but I did notice these jars that were so beautiful. They had 
the brown here, the amber glass. I loved that. And then the yellow one was really, really nice too. Now over here is another wreath that I really enjoyed. I'm sure you guys know by now what ones I like. I love the neutral ones. And then these pretty garlands. This is a really pretty eucalyptus neutral one. This actually makes me think of a wedding. So they had a bunch of really pretty fall florals here that I'm sure a lot of people use for fall weddings and just weddings in general. They have really pretty floral here. And then I loved these bud vases here, the white ones. I don't remember if I show it to you or not. Oh, yeah. This was very pretty. And with some of those stems I showed you earlier, those would look so pretty inside there. They had just every stem imaginable like they do at Hobby Lobby here. They had more traditional and then more neutral boho styled ones. I found some over here that I really, really liked and I'm starting to walk up to it now. These right here, I felt like once I got them out, they looked really natural and I just love the neutral look to them. I would totally pick those up. And then I loved a bunch of these other stems. I didn't pull every single one out because that would take forever. But yeah, they had so many to choose from. They also had more of those pretty faces here. I loved that wheat print that they had on those white ones. And then they had a lot of these pre-arranged ones. And my favorite ones were right here. I pulled both down. So they had this one that was very neutral. And then they also had this one with the pop of rust that I loved the most. And then I finish here by showing you guys some more garlands. They had some nice neutral ones. It's just hard for me to want to buy pre-made garlands just because they can get so expensive. I usually try to make my own, but if you don't like to bother doing that, definitely buy some either here or at Hobby Lobby. They have some really nice made ones. But anyways, guys, that is everything for today's video. If you guys enjoy watching shopping with me, then definitely hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed because I have plenty more in store for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day.